Sharon Leslie splits wood for her fire hearth. This is the first step in the process to make tableta, a Belizean coconut sweet. And they chop the wood now to light the fire so that we could start to make the tableta, right? She sources pine wood from land in Sunhill Village, where she has lived since childhood. Leslie was 10 years old when her mother first taught her how to make tableta. Because my mother don't want really to help her, right? Uh -huh. I'm an item of the wellest girl because then for my mom. And at that time, you may see it as a chore or you may see it as fun? As fun because my mother do something and we really help out, so. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. Like when we used to make cake. You never know, gonna mix on anything there. That's my hand. You got your bucket and you stir. The wood is lit and the first step is complete. The fire heart is Leslie's preferred method for cooking tableta. The stove too small because sometimes I have to make a big amount, right? So this lady I say, I need sixty dollars worth. Then I can't put the nip on the stove. I take too long. Leslie places a huge cast iron pot over the fire and ensures that it is thoroughly clean. You want to see this pot when I finish with it because you have some people when the tablet once my, the tablet is finished. There is nothing in this spot. And that's how you, you do yours. Right. Why? Well, no, no, see, now you put yourself to the test. Can you give me a promise? I have to see if that thing is real. For this recipe, Leslie grates three coconuts. She is very particular about the types of coconuts she uses in her product. We now use yeah. dry coconut. You have to be half green. Half green coconut to grate tight. The main ingredient were and the white sugar, no brown sugar, white. Because some people do make it with brown, right? But I don't know. For now they make it is with white, not brown. And my mom teach me then. After the grating, Leslie pours her white sugar into the heated cast iron pot. This process requires constant stirring to prevent the sugar from burning while it melts over the fire. When she wants to increase the heat, Leslie adds more wood. Similarly, to decrease the temperature, she removes wood from the fire. After 10 minutes, the sugar is completely melted. All right, now we are going to add the trash to it. Leslie takes a break from stirring to grate a piece of ginger that she adds to the pot closer to the end of the cooking process. She has passed down these skills to her two daughters to keep the tradition alive, but she says that they prefer staring clear of the fire hearth and working their 8-5 to five jobs. Her 12-year-old grandson assists her when he is off from school. You got some people where they to stay today. They call me for another week and say, Mr. Leslie, I need a $40 tablet and a $20 cut of brook for care. They want to inform me ahead of time so I could get the coconut prepared for make it. Soon after the cooking process is complete, Leslie transfers the tableta onto a flat wooden surface to cool down. She flattens out the finished products with her hands and a cup. We don't smooth it out. Now when I left it for cool for like 20 minutes, then we could slice and you guys can have your taste. Watch, so the pot just as clean as Miss Louise said it would be. So you could take her at a word. Clean pot. Now it's time for the taste test, though the tableta required a bit more time to cool down. Original tableta, straight from the fire heart, the way your granny used to do it. Let's just say, man, you can't beat this. I tell you that. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.